We, we sure have. That looks great. I tell you what, weak front came through to start the weekend. Now we're warming up. But big changes this week, Steve, that we're talking about. Powerful fronts and finally rain returning to Dallas-Fort Worth for what feels like the better part of a month. Live look outside looking northeast from downtown Bank of America building and pretty quiet central in the background. Pretty quiet out there weather-wise by the end of the week. Totally different picture out there, including rainfall. So let's start with where we are with the alerts. So we have three first alerts in place, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. I'm watching the end of next week into the weekend closely possibly going to be adding more to this. We want to bring your alert uh, to the changes coming our way. First, a powerful front on Tuesday, all driven by a very powerful storm system at upper levels that will break down for you. But Tuesday first, I think we see strong southerly winds out ahead of this storm system. This happens pretty frequently in the spring and the fall. That'll return warm Gulf moisture to south uh, parts of the plains. We're talking North Texas up through Oklahoma and Kansas. Then Wednesday, we will see that first cold front pretty powerful through the afternoon and evening. Now we could see a couple strong and maybe even a severe storm or two, although I don't expect widespread severe storms. I do think some will have enough uh, instability and probably wind shear for robust updrafts. So that'll be on Wednesday. And then we see rain kind of push out Thursday in time for trick or treating. That's great news. And then again, watching late week. But all in all, a lot of changes on the way. And it really starts with those southerly winds on Tuesday. And then we see that first front approach us. Let's take a look now. Look at this upper levels. Here's the big storm system, what we call a trough. What I'm watching with this is all the energy out of a trough exits what we call the right rear quadrant. Picture a roller coaster and you build all that momentum right once you hit the ground and come out. That's where all the momentum is traveling. So all that momentum is going to be ejected over the central and southern plains. That is why there are going to be organized storms in the middle of the week and all those changes for the central part of the country. Let's go over to the maps because there's another storm system that's going to follow that one. This next one, the following week, not this week, but the next week is going to be more prominent. Look how deep that trough is down just near Baja, California. It's going to eject all of that activity north and east. And really, it's the timing and the area, the location of this. But I think early the following week that if it does move over the southern plains, we'll have to watch for severe weather still over a week away. But it shows you the pattern has really changed. Let's start with those winds on Tuesday out ahead of that powerful storm system at upper levels. So you have the whole power of the atmosphere stacked vertically, pulling this warm, moist air out of the Gulf of Mexico. You could wake up to wind gusts on Tuesday up to 40 miles an hour. That's not far from severe storm limits, 57 miles an hour. So these are going to be pretty gusty winds. If you have Halloween decorations, maybe you want to lay them down or really uh, hold them down, anchor them down to the ground. What I want to do is something that you don't always see. We look at many major models. I want to show you both of the major prominent models and I'll let you be the judge and I'll show you what I'm thinking. Here's the first major model, typically the best, the European model uh, for medium range forecasting. This one goes out. There's the winds and maybe some streamer showers Tuesday ahead of the system. This will not be this widespread, but it gives you an idea. Could see some sprinkles Tuesday, nothing heavy, but then the front sets up out ahead of it. And I think the better bullseye for strong to severe storms will be Wichita down to OKC, traditional tornado alley. But for us, we could see a couple strong storms with maybe some marginal hail and some wind. It all depends on how surface based these storms are. Then that front pushes through and these become more linear. Maybe a marginal wind gust threat in there, but I think some heavy rain is going to come into play there because that front will anchor and hold that moisture out of the Gulf. The good news here Thursday night for trick or treating. It could clear out. This is becoming more progressive. We like to see it with this front. Let's look at the other major model. The American model also coming into more agreement. When I see both of them agreeing, that's better news in terms of you have an idea what's going to happen. There's that front coming through Wednesday. It's out of here Thursday night for trick or treating. That's a good trend we're seeing. But then it keeps that front nearby and stalls and we could have rainfall in through the weekend. So we're watching for the possibility of heavy rainfall next weekend. No guarantees yet. Don't take numbers just to heart, but rainfall we've been needing also a chance of some isolated localized flooding. Hard to believe I'm saying that. There you go. First alerts Tuesday through Thursday. Temperatures down to the 70s. Watching next weekend closely. But Steve, rain chances start Tuesday and last all the way through that forecast.